वेलकम टू नियाज मोहम्मद है ऑनलाइन स्कूल ब्राउन बढ़िया माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आवर यू आई होप यू आर वेल बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ अल्लाह आई एम आल्सो फाइन बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ अल्लाह अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इज अ सेकंड डे आई एम स्टैंड बिफोर यू and and dear shadul hok assistant teacher niyaz mohammad high school brahmanwadia today's topic right from a verb class 9 and 10 my dear students please listen to me and look look at the exercise book on sheet I have given a rules about right from verb. Every time, if if you follow in any one sentence, always, never, sometimes, usually, regularly, often, generally, daily, every day, normally, occasionally, at times, hardly, seldom, frequently, etc. Then sentence will be present in definite. Please listen to me again. If you followed in any one sen, if you follow in any one sentence, their words are existent. Always, never, sometimes, usually, regularly, often, generally, daily, every day, normally, occasionally, at times, hardly, seldom, frequently, etc. Then. sentence will be present in definite that means when you will rewrite the verb in in your blank then you will follow the structure of present in definite you know the structure of present in definite subject plus verb 1 plus extension my dear students please listen to me and follow the example i have first example he usually goes to his school by bus please uh look the please attend to the example he usually goes to school if you follow in in the sentence usually are present usually is present in the sentence we know if you follow in any one sentence usually the sentence is present in definite for this reason we can say easily the sentence is present in definite so when we will use the verb in the blank then we will follow the structure of present in definite the base form of verb go I have written in this blank goes because go is because the sentence is present indefinite for this for this reason uh, we will use the uh, the present form of verb. Other My dear students, please look at the subject. I have written the subject is he. We know he is a third person singular for this reason. when we rewrite the verb then we uh, we will use as or use with the verb for this reason i have used es with the verb so the right form of verb he usually goes to school by bus dear students please look at the second example she never she never comes here every time she never comes here we know she is a third person singular for this reason when we we'll read at the verb then uh, we can use as or yes with the verb otherwise this sentence is present in definite because never is here in the sentence we know 
if any in any one sentence in any one sentence never is existence then sentence will be present indefinite so when we rewrite the verb then we can follow the structure of present indefinite so the correct answer she never comes here dear students please look at the third example Sumaya watches TV at times. In the sentence, at times is present. For this reason, the sentence is present indefinite. Otherwise, Sumaya is a third person singular. For this reason, you can use with the verb as or yes. The sentence is present indefinite, so we can use the verb, the present form of verb we can follow the structure of present indefinite so the right answer will be sumaya watches tv at times sumaya watches tv at times watches is this form of verb and i have i have used s or yes because the subject is third person singular have you understood uh, understood everybody okay please listen to me and look at the follow fourth example we dash we collect flowers for our function please listen to me we collect flowers for our function in the sentence there is no mention the fixed time for this reason the sentence is present indefinite so we can follow the structure of present indefinite otherwise we want to know from you what type of subject is it we know the subject is first person for this reason we can use the verb without s or yes because we third person with first person so the right answer will be we collect flowers for our function my dear students please listen to me the second rules about right from verb i have written if any one sentence if you follow in any one sentence now at this moment at present right now etc the sentence will be present continuous tense please listen to me again if you follow in a one sentence now at this moment at present right now etc the sentence will be present continuous tense so when you do will you when will you read at the verb then you will follow the structure of present continuous tense we know the structure of present continuous is subject plus m is r plus verb with ing plus extension my dear students please look at the follow the examples such as she dash read the quran at present at first i want to know from you what type of what kinds of sentence is it? Is it present indefinite, present continuous, present perfect? The, the answer will, perhaps the answer will be the present continuous. Because at present is available in the sentence. For this reason, the sentence is present continuous. So when we read at the verb, then we will we will use the structure of present continuous tense so the answer will be she is reading she is reading the quran at present she is reading the quran at present next example right now my father dash call sumo uh, first of all i want to know from you how can how can we add this sentence is present continuous? 
we can say easily right now uh, right now is available in the sentence right now is present in the sentence for this reason the sentence is present continuous so you will follow the structure present continuous subject my father is here then you will use the verb in blank call you can use the correct answer will be right now my father is calling sumo because my father is a third person single singular for this reason uh, we can use is and ing with the verb so right answer will be right now my father is calling sumo my dear student please listen to me and look at the follow the third example they dash doing blank the work now the sentence is present continuous because now is present in the sentence now is present in the sentence for this reason the sentence is present continuous so you will follow the structure of present continuous the answer will be the correct answer will be they are doing the work now they are doing the work now my dear students uh, i hope you will realize the structure about realize the rules about right from verb if you practice in your home regularly about these topics inshallah you will be able to do able to able to do something and you will be able to learn more and more about right from verb Okay, then I'll see you later. Uh, I will discuss next time. Allah Hafiz.